Hey gang, Jane here with another crochet granny square tutorial. Today is a smaller piece, so it will go up quick and easy. This one is a version of my sky granny square, but smaller, so I call it little sky. I've made some nice throws with this one for the younger members of my family, and they are so fun to make with all sorts of colors. We'll be using some nice cool blues today. This square is great for stash busting and makes nice multicolor throws. So really good for using up all that leftover yarn. This piece is only six rounds, and as per usual for me, I'll be changing my colors every round. Except the last two rounds will be the same as they create a nice border. I'll be making it in five colors today, a medium blue, a light blue, a deep blue, and an off-white, and a deep beige. I'll be using a worsted weight yarn and a five millimeter crochet hook. Other tools you'll need are a pair of scissors and a darning needle to tie in your ends. You can find more information on the pattern for the Little Sky Granny Square over on my blog. I'll leave the link in the description below. So gather your supplies and lots of colors and let's get started on Little Sky. So we start with our magic ring. So we take our yarn, lie it across our palm, cut in facing us, wrap it around your first two fingers, back underneath, crossing over, back to the top over the first three fingers. So you have these two strands lying beside each other. You want to go under the first one and over the second one. Pull it underneath, twist your hook, the hook part away from you so it twists on the hook. And go ahead and do your first chain one by grabbing that yarn over your third finger and pulling it through. There we have our magic ring and our first chain one. So proceeding with round one. We want to chain four to start with. So we have our first one already on here. We want to go two, three, and four. That's our beginning chain four, which represents our first double crochet and chain one. So the first three is the same as a double crochet. And then we have a fourth one to represent our chain one. Now we're going to be working into this loop that we made, this magic ring. We're going to go ahead and double crochet inserting the hook into the loop, pull up the loop and complete your double crochet and then chain one. And that's what we're going to do all the way around. We want a total of 12 that includes this beginning one. So I've done the chain and I've done one already and I need 10 more of those double crochet chain one. There's a chain one in between each one. So go ahead and finish that and I'll meet you back here to finish the round. So here I have a total of 12, which includes the beginning chain. So you can see here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And there's a chain one in between each one. And I end with a chain one and I'm ready to join my round. So if you did the magic ring like I did, you want to pull that up first. So take this cut end. I put my finger and my thumb on the last stitch and I just give it a little gentle pull. So I have to readjust a little bit there. See, I've pulled it in quite a bit. I'm going to pull it in even tighter and you're just pulling gently. You don't want to tear the yarn or rip it out or anything like that. And now our hole is filled in and I want to join my round with a slip stitch. So I'm going to go into the third chain of that beginning chain four, insert your hook in and then yarn over and pull it through and then pull it through the loop on the hook. So there you go. You finished round one and you've slip stitched to join it. And I'm going to use a different color every round. So go ahead and cut your yarn around the four inch mark so that we can darn it in later. So for my next color, I'm going to use this pale blue and I want to join with a slip stitch in any one of these chain one spaces. So I'm going to go ahead and insert my hook into any one of them. I go a little further back from where I left off so that the ends can be darned in without getting too bulky. Leaving a nice end of a couple inches, I'm going to pull up a loop. Now I'm going to go ahead and chain one and then I'm going to work a single crochet into that same chain one space. Now I'm going to go ahead and chain two. And that's what we're going to do all the way around. So we're going to single crochet in the next chain one space. 
And then you're going to chain two. So keep on doing that single crochet in the next chain one space, chain two, all the way around till you get to the end. You'll end with a chain two. I'll meet you here to finish off the round. So here we are. We've done it 12 times. We've single crocheted and chain twoed all the way around. There'll be 12 single crochets and 12 chain two spaces. Ending with this chain two, we're going to finish off our round. We're going to do a slip stitch in the first single crochet. So insert your hook in, pull up a loop, and pull it through the loop on the hook. There you've done the slip stitch. Now we're going to cut our yarn, again working with a different color every round. You can do this whole thing in one color if you want. Pull your yarn through, and we're ready for round three. I'm going to use my dark blue for this round. Round number three, we're going to join in any one of the chain two spaces around our circle. So again, I go a little further back from where we ended, just to give variety as to where the ends are. And then we're going to pull up a loop, like we always do. And then we're going to go ahead and chain one. And then we're going to work two single crochet into that same space that we just joined in. So there's one and there's two. Now we want to chain one. And that's what we're going to do all the way around. Two single crochet into each of these chain two spaces and a chain one in between them. So we'll go ahead and do one more. We go two single crochet and then a chain one. So go ahead and do that all the way around. You're going to end with a chain one before we join and I'll meet you there to finish the round. So here we are at the end of the round. We've worked 24 single crochet because we've done 12 sets of two all the way around and we've done a chain one space in between. So we also have 12 chain one spaces. We've ended with a chain one and we're going to go ahead and slip stitch in the first single crochet of the round. So go ahead and Insert your hook into that stitch, pull up a loop and pull it through the one on the hook. And you've completed round number three. So go ahead and cut your yarn. And we're getting ready for round number four. So for round number four, we're going to be using our white and we're going to go ahead and join in any one of these chain one spaces around. So I'm just going to go a little further back here and grab one of these chain one spaces insert my hook and pull up a loop of my new yarn. So now I'm going to go ahead and chain four. So one, two, three, and four. Now this represents my first double crochet and my chain one. So again, the three chains equal a double crochet. And then there's a fourth chain on there for my first chain one. Now I'm going to go ahead and work a double crochet into the same space that we just joined in. So go ahead in there and work your double crochet. So we have two double crochet with a chain one in between them in the same space. So chain one, and you're going to do that all the way around. So you're going to do a double crochet in the next chain one space. So you're always missing over the stitches and working into the chain spaces at the moment. So that's our double crochet, chain one, and another double crochet in the same space that we just worked in. That's called a V stitch, a double crochet V stitch, um, and then chain one. So you can see here what we're doing is a V stitch plus a chain one in between and we're going to do that all the way around. So missing over the stitches and only working into the chain one spaces, you're going to work a double crochet, chain one, double crochet, and then you're going to work another chain one, and then you're going to move to the next chain space. So do that all the way around and I'll meet you here at the end of the round to finish it off. So here we are at the end of our round. So you get a better idea of what the V stitches look like now. They do create an actual V with that chain one in the middle of them. And then we have chain ones all the way around them as well, 
because our piece is expanding out and we don't want it to ripple. So there you go. You've come to the end of this round. You will have 12 sets of these V stitches and then you'll have 12 chain ones in between them. So with two per set, you're going to have 24 double crochet. And then you also have two chain one spaces per set because there's one in the middle and one on the outside. So you'll also have 24 chain one spaces. So we're going to complete it by working into the third chain of our beginning chain four. So go into that third chain right there, pull up a loop, pull it through the loop on the hook, and you have finished round four. We can cut our yarn. and you're ready to go for the next round. So now we're ready to square off our circle. We have two rounds left and I'm going to do them both in this beige color. And I'll give you an example here. Here's another square using this same pattern and I only use three colors in this square, but we are at this circle part right here. And now we are going to square off our pattern so that now the granny square actually becomes a square. So now we're going to join our beige in a chain one space, but not any chain one space. I actually want the chain one space that's in the middle of the V stitch, not the one that joins the two V stitches, but the one in the middle. So look for one of the chain spaces that's in the middle of a V stitch. So I'm going to go ahead and choose this one right here. And I'm going to pull up a loop and I'm going to go ahead and chain four, one, two, three, and four. So this counts as our first double crochet and our first chain one. Then I'm going to go ahead and double crochet in that same chain space that I joined in. So I'm creating another V stitch. Now I chain one and I move to the next chain one space where I want to work a half double crochet. So remember half double crochet, you put the yarn over, insert your hook and pull up. So there's three loops on the hook and then you yarn over and pull through all three. So I'm making a shorter stitch because I'm actually working my way around the circle, but squaring it off. So now we chain one and then I'm going to work in the next chain one space. So again, only working in the chain one spaces, I'm going to single crochet. Then I want to chain one and I'm going to single crochet in the next chain one space and chain one, always a chain one in between each stitch and another single crochet into the next chain one space and chain one. So what I've done there is I've worked uh, three single crochets in a row with chain one spaces between them. Now we're going to go back into the next chain one space and work a half double crochet and chain one. And now I'm going to work my other corner. So back here, this is the first half of the corner. And then I worked my way across the edge with different heights of stitches. Now I'm going to work a full corner. So this corner is make sure that you work that chain one there. Now we're going to do a double crochet, chain one, another double crochet in the same space, now we're going to chain three and three. This is going to be the corner and it gives us lots of room to turn the corner here. Then we're going to work another double crochet into this same space. You're still working in the same space. And then a chain one and another double crochet. So two V stitches into that same space separated by a chain three. So there's your corner right there. You've got this V stitch a chain three and another V stitch, and that turns your corner. So again, we're going to look back at this one. So what we just did is this corner right here. So you worked four stitches completely into this one chain space and it creates a nice corner for your work. So back to this, we're going to do what we just did across here, not including this half of a corner. We're going to work that again over the next edge and then the next edge. And then the last edge we're going to work until we get to the corner and then we'll complete the corner together. So I'm going to work one more edge so you can understand what I'm, what I'm asking you to do. 
So we're, we did the chain one. We're going to go ahead and do a half double crochet and a chain one, a single crochet, chain one, another single crochet, and a chain one, and then we're going to work a third single crochet and a chain one, and then we're going to do a half double crochet, chain one, and then we're going to work another corner. So let's do that corner double crochet, chain one, double crochet, that's your V stitch, chain three, and another V stitch, double crochet, chain one, and a double crochet, and a chain one. So there you go, you've worked another whole edge across here to the corner, just like you did up here and to the corner. So you're going to do that again across here, your half double crochet, three single crochets, half double crochet, corner, chain ones in between every single stitch. Then you're going to do it one more time, but you're not going to work the corner. We're going to do that together. So you're going to end after you've done your last half double crochet, chain one. So go ahead and do that. Last part, I'll meet you here. So here we are, we've worked down our last edge and I've ended with a half double crochet, chain one, and I've not yet done the corner because we only need to do half of a corner. So we're going to go ahead and do one V stitch into that same space that we joined in. So go ahead and double crochet, chain one, and another double crochet. Oops, here and falling off my hook. So there we go. And we're going to do chain three because that's how we go around the corner. And now we already have the second V stitch in there. We did it at the very beginning. So now all we have to do is join. So we're going to join in the third chain of that beginning chain four. So insert your hook in the third chain, yarn over and pull through both loops on the hook and you've completed round five. So we have one more round to go and we are not cutting our yarn because I'm going to do it in the same color. So you can see I have squared off my circle, but I like to add another round to give it a nice border. So again, we'll look at this one done in the three colors. And in here I've done two rounds of this blue. So it just gives it a nice clean edge. We're just going to go to this round. Uh, I love to add these edgings to all my squares so they kind of all match together, but I have another tutorial for that on how I add my edges to all my squares. So we have one more round, round six, and we're going to stick with the same color. And because I'm not cutting the yarn, I can't really join in a corner. So I have to slip stitch over to the next chain space because that's where I'm going to start this round. So go ahead and insert your hook in the next chain one space. It's really the first chain one space. And you're going to pull up a loop and pull through the loop on the hook. So you're doing another slip stitch in addition to the one that you joined the round with. And now we're going to go ahead and chain one and single crochet in that same chain space. And then go ahead and chain one. And that's all we're going to do all the way around except when we hit the corners. So let's work our way across this first top edge, all single crochet chain ones in every chain space not working any of the stitches. So go ahead and single crochet in the next chain space and chain one. Single crochet in the next chain space and chain one. Single crochet in the next chain space and chain one. So that's what you're doing all the way across. So let's keep moving along here. And we're going to create a nice edge to our square until we hit this last chain one before the corner and chain one. Let's take a look at what we've done here. So it's all single crochet chain one. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight single crochet and chain ones. And then I'm going to work a corner. So we go into the corner and we're going to do a single crochet chain two. A little extra for turning the corner. 
and a single crochet back into that same chain three space from below. And we're going to start again, chain one, single crochet in the next chain space. And we're going to work that all the way across this edge. So we do, that's our first one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight with a chain one, ending with a chain one. So go ahead and work that. Then you're going to work a single crochet, chain two, single crochet in the corner. You'll do it again along this edge and again along this edge. And then once you've worked this corner, I'll meet you back here and we'll finish off the round. Okay, I've reached the end of my round. So again, let's take a look at what we've done here. We did our first way across here with just single crochet chain ones and then did our corner, which was a single crochet chain two single crochet. Then we did it again down here with a corner, across here with a corner, and then all the way up here with a corner. So the way that we end our round is I've done a chain one after the corner and we're ready to join because the next single crochet was our first single crochet. That chain one is already worked into. So you just want to slip stitch. So you go into that first single crochet pull your yarn through it and through the loop on the hook. And there you go. You've finished your square. And that completes the Little Sky Granny Square. This one is great for blankets or home decor, and you can make lots of fun throws and pillows, all sorts of ideas. Check out my blog if you're looking for more ideas. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to my channel so you're sure to catch all my tutorials as they come out. Thanks for joining me today. I'll see you in the next tutorial.